Sunday night here. I got some stuff here. Went to a fishing museum um, closer to Escanaba, halfway between Menominee, Michigan, Escanaba, Michigan. And instead of the gift shop they have, they take donations of antiques. So they sell this stuff. <laughs> so I don't know. This is some weird tape. It's got a tin. Paid a buck for that. It's got like bullseye stuff on it. Um, this is, I actually tubed down this river. Uh, somebody I know lives like right over here and we swim in this river. This is Stevenson, Michigan. And it's a real photo postcard. It was six bucks, but um, if I, I'll put it for sale, but if it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it because we go there a lot. And um, one dollar, don't know why I bought it, one dollar, no markings. They, they look vintage, they may be dollar store items, I don't even know. Um, this looked interesting. Look, it's, it's a dollar. My dollar thing worked today. Um, there's there's needles in there, so I don't know if somebody would want this for eight, nine bucks. Don't know. And then this is the coolest thing I got. Two bucks. This is like a tea towel, and I found some. I couldn't find this exact one, but I thought it was awesome just looking at it. Fifteen to twenty bucks that some similar to this are going for. Made in Ireland, so this is pretty cool. I like it, so. You just go places and you find stuff. And the fishing museum was quite cool for what it was. It's a small little place and learned a lot of stuff. First Monday in August. Here we go. Oh boy. 89 items on eBay. So this is it. I'm not even going to show Bricklink or Rickall right now. I'm going to see how long it takes. It's 5.05 a.m. Let's get this rolling. I don't know what I, how I feel about this. Um, this is a gift for someone who has severe and aggressive multiple sclerosis and had a mini stroke recently. They said any additional items you could add would be greatly appreciated. This is a zero feedback buyer. They sent me $3.50 for a one baseball card. So I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of strange. Um, maybe they're telling the truth. I don't really know, but it's just seems weird that zero feedback comes on here and says that kind of stuff but hey there's stuff going on out there but yeah all right here's batch one 20 uh orders so that uh, says i still have 39 orders to ship so there was a uh, out of that 80 some there were 59 different orders so not many have a lot of multiple so this is two two different items um, and here, and then this one has hair. They added hair with that four, so it's only two here that have that multiple. So three cards, and somebody bought this. I thought about donating it just to Goodwill, but I looked it up on eBay. Nobody had it for sale anymore, so you never have to jiggle your mouse again. I used this for my last job, so I didn't think I was there moving my mouse when I was actually working Lego. So. It, it, it got me through a good uh, two years, so great stuff. All right, batch number two of items. There they are. Sold that thing. Wow, this is one order. Uh, 20, 26, 26 different items. There's about three different single pieces, two of one here. And some, uh, lots of minifigs, so they took advantage of my highest sale that I've had since Black Friday, so awesome. This is, like, actually one of the best supporters of my channel, store. It was, like, it's amazing, so thank you so much again. I know you're watching. You said you watch every video, so awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. All right, this is the final batch. Lots of sports cards there on this one, and then this huge order. And this is a uh, digital TV converter box for old TVs, which I made like two bucks on because I didn't do the shipping right. 
um, which is fine. I had it, I bought it last year, and I just wanted to, I almost donated it, but I'm like, I'll just throw it up there, get the money back I paid for it, plus a little bit more, and then we're moving on from it, so, yeah, sold an Overlord, it's awesome, so this is the last two Thanos that I have, with complete, uh, Infinity Stones, so we bought both of them, so that was great, and we are moving on, it is, uh, 622, I gotta print out all the stuff for this, and get to the Bricklink store. Boom. Imagine if this is the only platform I sold on. What would I do the rest of the day? I have the last sports cards to list. Took me one hour and 40 minutes to get these plus 44 more packages out. So, awesome. We'll be going to the post office later. And it's not even that heavy. Brick Owl orders. So 29 is the highest lots. And then the total here, 154 lots for 225 plus shipping on all of the orders. So, oh, 47 lots. That's a good one there. It's a little bit higher. And that's, that's the majority of, if I had to break them up, the percentage of uh, stuff. So, and Brick Link has 17 orders. And the totals here are 119 lots, 911 items. That is great. The dollar amount's not um, what I'm used to for this many orders, but it's alright. They're smaller orders. And that's okay. I'll get ripped through these real quick. What's the highest? Is it 19? 21? 21 is the highest lot kind of one. So let's go. All right, daunting task, kind of, but I am going to get it done. 7.08 a.m., went and got my decaf coffee, got my headphones ready, and uh, that's my pile of work when I'm done. Get that for sale. Uh, 2,000 sports cards more I gotta get photographed. This will take, take three minutes to get those dupla for sale. Uh, Brooklyn Quarter. Full of minifigs. Crack those open. At some point, list these cards. So, here we go. I love orders like this. Six items, six lots. They bought enough to build a whole figure and a weapon. This Brick Owl order is mostly Technic. Lots of uh, bricks with holes, what they call them. It's a Technic brick with holes. <laughs> Uh, what, what Brick All describes them as. Simple order. Four gems of each, nine times. The bonus order came in about 30 minutes ago. So they will have two these from the Hogwarts train. First Bricklink order. $7.96 armor for Prince Zuku Avatar. Yeah. Note on this order. I love the channel. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you. There's one part. Actually, one minifig. Comes in the uh, Target cubes assembled like that. So, it's ready to go. Oh, we are now in the human organ business. Which one was it? 453. We are selling a human heart in toy form. I just packed up, this is like 19 lots, 300 items total. The biggest set was left, and all these that are left for Bricklink are under 10 lots. And it's 8.48, and take a five minute break to say good morning to everyone. And Come back and finish this up. All right, this order has a note. Wanted to get something to celebrate my first part out into my inventory. My fiance Jay did the part out and picked Wonder Woman first. I think he was trying to tell me something, so I think the groom is a good celebratory purchase. All right, awesome. So the so you know what it is. Two seven seven six was the drawer. There's a groom and. Uh, Backward, so there's room in it. So awesome, thank you, and good luck with the store. This, they left this 
might have been in this video or the previous video, a note on my Instagram post with the skeleton heads about how they started the um, store because of all the stuff, this is video, the videos I put out showing how to do it, so that got them inspired to do it and start selling Lego and it's going to be awesome, so awesome, thank you so much, good luck. I had one more bonus order that came in at some point while I was packing up all the rest, so nine more lots and we're done at 9.20 forgot we were on a bike ride last night and someone was giving away a free ladder and I was gonna drive back to get it last night and never did so I'm gonna run out there it's just like two miles away Ooh, table partially cleared work to do there uh, two canisters of mail bins canisters yeah ready to go <laughs> usually about three, between 3 30 and 4 on Mondays I'll stop and run to the post office so this organization system is amazingly fast all compact on one side of the room it's the best way to go all right ebay stores we built it's 11 21. these are going to get listed and they'll fit in a padded flat rate so it's like a maximum i don't know I don't usually sell them but i'll see i'll put them up for like 20 bucks for shipping and just get rid of them if someone will buy them for that so there's that and then i'm gonna just i got my camera up here and um, then I just keep on going photograph this stuff that I that I put myself into having to photograph <laughs> and then uh, start working through those Brooklyn quarters today you can use Lego bags for more than just Lego orders. it's in there nice very nice all right it's 12 30 now I'm about to take lunch but first I'm gonna do this um, so I think I found this set I mean, there could be other pieces to other stuff, but I can see the two people are definitely in this set. Bananas are in there. Cash registers in there. The money's in there. This is what I looked up first to find it. Um, so yeah, get all these listed. Well, that was quick and easy. It's 12:39. This is the only thing that wasn't in the set. It's just, oh, I thought I hit the button. It's doing it now. So I'm just gonna hold on to this and my Duplo stuff, which is back here. There it is. I do have to build another minifigure stand section at some point, so I need to order some 2x4 bricks before I can do that. Which I'll probably do that early September when it's pressing at that point. So I gotta put these two in USB 7 and then the bananas go in USB 11. So those are the two parts I already had. Let's see, there's some bananas. Adding to the bunch, bunches of bananas. Seven is right there. That I just did last Friday. Is it Friday? Thursday. Thursday. Didn't work Friday much. All right. So that's set for I paid a dollar fifty for everything, and it, all the parts came to eleven. So eight bucks. Very nice. All right. Doing well. Two just two orders I went through, and one of them just seventeen lots and seventeen items. I can't believe I didn't buy more than one, or maybe they didn't have more than one part, but everyone completed a figure. So um, looking good. Here's this order. We have Mantazoid bowling. Leonardo head. I got one. All right, just completing some figures. This is the, I open another order. I completed a few more from the last one, and then I was when I get uh, parts to a character, the minifigure, cracked arm, I, and double parts like a head. I just put this on there. So I'm gonna go through this, and I was doing that, and then I put, picked up this one. It felt weird. It it looks like Lego, huh? They even have the lines next to the lines in there, like this, this one is. So this is fake. You couldn't tell by looking underneath it right away, but it's pretty bad. No Lego logo. That's That gives it away, but it's at glance. I can see why they didn't catch it, but whatever. Everything else looks good. I'm not going to complain about one fifty cent torso. And we move on. All right, here's an order from out of the country. I want to say Russia it was from. Look at that. Look at that. I just went for it. I don't need to buy heads for a long time. I'm hoping. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, 68 items, one item. So there you go. Cool. All right, here's the next order. Came here for all these mini doll parts. Got a couple other things that are on my list. Everything looks pretty good. 
Yeah, that's good. That's good. So it all looks pretty good. Um, and uh, so after this, I'm going to be done with the mail. It's what, 20 after 2 right now. So hopefully I'll be done by like 2.45. Go right into listing sports cards for at least an hour. I'm going to finish the day and then I'm going to run to the post office. So, All right. Got through pretty much half this box. Just listed all of these. Sitting outside in the sun. Uh, half sun, half shade, so I can see my <laughs> laptop screen. And um, there's 23 of one card, so it looks like a ton here, but there's a multiple. There's 23 of one card that should sell for $10 each, that one. So, I got some really good ones of him. One, one's like 50 bucks that I've. These were out of the stuff I saved many years ago. I just had sitting around, and I thought he might become a good player, and he did, so. That's about. 300 bucks of his cards, like, phew, there's a whole bunch of them in there. Anyway, so I'm going to put these away and head to the post office now. It's, uh, it's light. Oh, he's been sleeping all day. It's 3.56. And I might take that upstairs and watch Olympics and list some more. Try to get through this box today. I really want to get through that box by tomorrow, end of tomorrow. Ooh, August 3rd. We have 28 items to ship on eBay and some cards that we'll talk about here a little bit. Um, Bricklink is very slow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five orders. The highest lot count is 12, and then 10, then 3, 3, 6. <laughs> and Brickall, these bottom two were already packed up yesterday. The addresses were saying it was different so I had to confirm the address so they did respond so I have one lot one lot 29 and five so should be quick just all right four of those same cards got about 24 bucks total for them for that order uh, this is five this is ten and then with this Devonta Adams I actually held on to my own stuff my own collection back when it came out 2014 right yeah 2014 he was a rookie here and I had sold four more cards for 15 bucks each already, and I have one that's worth like 50, and a, 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 the quantity of them. Um, I just have a, a whole bunch of the same card. This one's the worth the 50 bucks right here. X Fractor. These are the ones that sold for 15 each. The Refractors, four of those, and then all the common tops Chrome. Rookies, I had like 23 of them, and they're all like eight, nine bucks each. So, good collection to hold on to. Boom! No footage of packing the orders, but I gotta get some coffee, take a quick morning break, and get these shipped out. Put this on my to-do list. I cleared out that drawer over there with all the heads and headgear that I'm gonna put the torsos in. So, a lot of duplicate stuff in here, which shouldn't take me too long to go through, but. More stuff to do. This doesn't go in there. Got these all sorted. Put all the heads together. I guess it's called the Santa hats. Getting those for sale. 32 of those. Alright, that mess is cleared up. Everything for sale. And I'm going to take this upstairs. 238 to 339. So I have 101. Maybe 102 listings that makes it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a run first. And then do this, not come back down till it's done. All right, just got back from running. Um, this was the other day, last was that Saturday morning? 719 a mile for two miles, that's my best mileage ever. Today was pretty good, 732. Whew. Now, 836, hopefully I'm gonna finish this up by 10. I have a helper coming, so. I'll have like two sets are going to get parted out today for me, so i get ready for that at noon. Ah, here we go, 2,282 active listings. It's crazy. I never thought I'd get anywhere near that. Um, and the sports cards, did we reach 1,000? No, 896. So, I mean, obviously I've sold hundreds of them already, but um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. All right, we got one on brick order, Bricklink order from Georgia. 
typed pretty well. Um, Soon look out through the bag. I came here because I was uh, doing the cape hack, trying to find black capes for a good price. So I looked at all the figures that had black capes, and then I went through some that I thought wouldn't sell for very much. And I think this guy was under four bucks with the cape. So um, and Rickstar had like four of them, five of them, maybe five. And he had some other things that were on my list. So I grabbed some stuff and we got an order so I'll go through that and I'm gonna go through this this is a uh, 150 minifigs in here so I don't know when to open that but <laughs> probably I don't need to open that <laughs> take care of this I'll probably take care of this and then I have yeah, like I said help coming over so I'm gonna get this ready for this I'm gonna have them sort this out and then there's uh I'm going to have them do this one and this one, so I'm going to carry those over now. Well, we got a mess going on. Lots of different sets. Okay, three different sets right here. Video, the sea creatures, the shark, whatever, and then the dot set. It's all ready to go. Alright, just clearing up stuff here. Then we have to do this. This is a little box loaded with many figures. Not enough room to sort on my desk. The table's being used. Alright, got through all the friends. Hidden side next. And here we go. So I only have four of those. Maybe I should do those first. Yeah, we'll do that first. And then we have this. I'm not sure how many I had. I should have counted. Count the cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. And then Alright, that set is cleared up for the sea creatures and some new parts in the cart. And we're checking the numbers here. There it is, 2,380 more items. Boom. All right, four candy mermaid, what bee boxes are called. 10 bucks each on clearance, so that is a good one. I just put the minifigs on here. Completed, and we are moving on. All right, the dot set has been tackled, put away, well not put away. And then we got one more set. This is the instructions to it, built by a uh, picture. Ten sets, six dollars each. So that's a great dots part out right there. Two thousand eight hundred seventy more pieces. And then let's see. Where, I guess let's see where we're at while we're here. If you can, if you can actually hear me, there's so much going on. Eleven thousand ninety-eight lots. Two ninety-eight, seven sixty-three. Didn't quite hit three hundred thousand. Uh, the next set may or may not get there, but. All right, it's uh, like laying down there. 321, so I'm gonna attempt to do this before four. I, I, sep I looked at these minifigs, the two different minifigs, I separated the parts out for them. I think there's only, one, or this one I had to count out, to count out and this one I had extra, so. Otherwise, I think we're good. And we're gonna put this away, 328. Is this one. We have room. It's always good when you have room. Going. All right, 3:34 p.m. and we have this set. And I did not uh, do the minifigs yet. They're considered minifigs, but they're just sitting there. Um, so most of these sets I got for eight bucks. I got some for twelve, so eleven sets. And the minifigs add right, get get about ten dollars between two of them total. So that pays for the sets basically. So that's added. Let's see if we made it. I didn't check the part number or the part. I didn't, I didn't look, even look at it. We did not get there. We're 74 parts short of 300,000 again, but we've already made it once, so I already had that satisfaction of hitting it, so maybe tomorrow. So we just not numbered past there, but we don't need that yet. We are down to just two empty drawers here where I numbered, and I gotta finish that. I skipped ahead so I can use the big drawers. <laughs> but we did get, we used all these, I didn't put them away yet. 
636 so I just gotta put this as a marker to tell me that's the first one I have room in. And then all these other big ones on this are full of stuff, so. And every every one of these have parts in them. So laying away and down this section of the wall pretty good. First Wednesday of August, August 4th. That means the brick separators will be out today at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern time, is that right? All right, so we have 46 items on eBay. That is very, very good. We have seven orders on Bricklink, which is uh, only 70 lots, which is quick and easy. So then we have on Brick All, there says there's eight orders here. 1,500 items, wow. It's $102, wow. Wow, that's big. Uh, so that's one big order there. 2,000 items, 80 lots, so 150 total lots we got going on. So let's hit the eBay stuff. All right, second batch is here. I already shipped out 20 packages, and then we're moving on to the big wall of Lego parts. All right, get on vacation mode. It's my last packing orders today, besides tomorrow morning. And taking a good four days off, so I'm gonna go camping with the travel trailer. I guess here's my Walmart haul. I guess I can talk about that. Um, I already got all pretty much everything from this Walmart, but then we were in the clearance aisle and they had three different sets. I had the Batman mask for 50. It's funny on the way to the there, I was thinking about the set. I was like, oh, I missed out on buying these. 19 is a decent price. You can get a lot of people got it for a lot better <laughs> uh, recently, but. And then these I should have left. Um, I thought I already got some, but I, now I recall I left the other ones at the other stores. <laughs> I was like, oh, I, I probably need more and make it a good part out. 15 bucks, parts out to 30, so. Not terrible, but I only have four now. Oh, there's a four, yeah. So, there's that. Got the variety of frog colors. And we get an all droid parts order, the next one. All right, I went ahead and skipped the last brick I'll order because of the quantity, so I have that one left. 741, Lloyd says, so we have uh, 29 lots, 1,508 items, two pounds, 3.73 ounces of Lego. So here we go, 343. Got to start counting. Just don't. It should be easy to stop those ones. There we go. And I won't. Once I uh, get rid of stuff in a drawer and there's still stuff in it, like I have so many small drawers right now that I'm just gonna. I haven't put that one backward and just keep that as a single lot now. We're back in this drawer once again. Got to count out 300 of these. And we should have 1,028 left, and I know there's extra, so I uploaded the cup. Did I buy two cups? One cup? One cup of them. So, let's get this. Alright, there it be. So, I don't think I can get in a flat rate envelope, but I'm going to try. We'll see. Ah, all the um, orders are packed. That one fit. 802. This one's not that heavy, but... Weigh it up. It has a Lego set in it. Unbox Lego set. If I sell Lego sets that are small and under 50 bucks, I just get rid of the box. Actually, I got this one without the box, so that all worked out. This will be 11 ounces. What we'll do it as. And uh, we have a couple more. Alright, I had these parts sorted for me yesterday just by color, and the thing was taken up. Apart mostly, I was told there's a lot of glow in the dark. Look at that whole bin is glow in the dark pieces there. Um, so, this is the Fairground Mixer that a nice uh, watch viewer of the channel sold to me for 10 bucks a long time ago. <laughs> just getting to it. Um, I just, the minifigs weren't in the bag, I just they were in the other stuff I did get, so that's already been. I took care of that pretty quick once I got those, but this has been sitting around for a long time. 
and uh, we are going to get it for sale. So, and all these mini fix. I had a thoughts of completing it, but if I still have the mini figs, I might seriously consider it. So, uh, this is this is just as good. Uh, the pricing is pretty much the same. It may be a little less than completing it, but it's less time in the end. You get more sales because you have a m more quantity of different parts in your store. The lot count goes up. That's my goal in this store. It's not to complete sets. I did actually enjoy completing the sets, those big modulars. I did, and I think I think I know why people do like to do that. It's, it's very satisfying when you do it, um, and it's an easy. It, in the end, it does take a lot less of your time because you're not pulling multiple orders over one. All these parts are going to be multiple multiple orders over a year or two. So, um, but I got to get back to my desk. I just have the Star Wars to rebuild from an eBay store, and then I'll get right onto this. Certainly, I want to clean this up. Tomorrow is Thursday. I'm only going to be shipping out tomorrow and maybe rebuilding my stuff and then that's it. Somebody brought me these yesterday from a lot we opened. Or they opened. I let them open. It's a beautiful rendition of this guy. He's in great shape. He's in decent shape. He's got a little blackness in there. Uh, but that's how you find him. It's always like the jaw is a lot more white than the body. It must be different material. Some sort of different mixture. Those are some good ones, so I went and grabbed their cards, get ready for photographs. Alright, I told myself for August I didn't want to spend, or I wanted to not buy anything, but... Um, I made a different rule. I'm just gonna, if there's anything, a limit of two parts. And I'm not gonna buy minifigs off of Ricklink at this time. Um, so I'm loading my list, and we will have some... No dislike, shows, dislike stores will show up, stores that do not ship to me. Show first ones that have coupons and favorited. Um, so I don't know where I'm gonna go for go for, but we'll find a store to make one order. I was late to the premiere by 19 minutes, 20 minutes. It started at 10. <laughs> Whoops! I was just away from my phone, just doing my own thing. But brick separators episode four. It's 10:27. Uh, it's like a 50 some minute video so over here working watching the chat um, um, I'm gonna put all all 11 of these guys these, these instructions don't have anything it shows this 11 of those guys and I'm gonna put all 11 of those guys complete on a brick link as many figures that's the process it's worth it I don't know there are seven there's seven bucks on average each and there's still 23 times so they are higher than that people are asking so I'll probably put them right at seven bucks and all right so we're gonna check the part out value of a used set here I saw the cheapest one somebody had was 179 complete without a box so that's what you can get there and I, I sell it for that price minus 20% so so we'll get just about that 200 bucks so and again it takes a little less time it's a lot easier to do it this way than trying to get sets. Yeah, I'm sure I'll have to try to find more more pieces. That could take an hour or two hours, or unless you buy them all. I don't like. I like if I have them. I like to go look for them. But I have a lot of stuff sorted really good. So it, it does. When I did those modulars, it was pretty easy to find the stuff. But I was constantly every ten parts searching for one. So let's get this done. All right. This took me a solid 20 minutes to get ready. So. Um, the black is black was dominant here, so I think that is the most of anything. I mean, there's some. Two, there was three bins of black full, and there's two two light bluish gray and a couple more, two dark bluish gray. So actually, white looks pretty dominant then. <laughs> so white's probably about the same as black. So we'll get there. But we are going to. I have to get to the bottom. This tablet doesn't take it too well. Let's see how many lots it says at the bottom. Because i got to go to the second screen on my tablet. And then, uh, here we go. 426 lots. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> it's going to add a lot to my store. It's worth it. got to take the time. So I started just at like 11.05. It's 11.30 right now. Let's see how long this takes. Alright, hour and 45 minutes in. Boy, he's napping again. Um, onto the red. Just two reds, yep. So we got the reds. 
and then <laughs> the white is going to be a big one. Yellow's not so bad, and then just a bunch of small stuff. So we are getting there. Going to do it. Somebody asked me how many clocks we have. There's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a duplicate. I won't count it. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 here. And then there's a couple over here. 18, 19, 20, 21. And if one of my desks is 22. And then there's a couple um the kids have them they're just in their room so we'll say try 24 24 clocks there's a zane one i really wanted to get i've been trying to find out it's only one for sale on ebay it's over 40 bucks which is too much but i'll get it eventually all right just hit 1 p.m last big sort down and then we just have the yellow to go and we're home free so gotta organize these up and whew, here we go all right it's 1 Six. So we started 11.05, 12.05, 1.05, 2.5 hours, right? 2.5 hours it took. So we're going to the moment of truth here where we hope there's no updates that Brecklink decided to take the site down after I entered everything. <laughs> yeah, we'll wait for that for a moment. The drawers are loaded up. I know it's not everyone's favorite way to do it, but I have determined that this is the fastest way to store used parts in the least amount of space. Even for pulling orders, I find it is so fast. Uh, a lot of times there's more than one part in a drawer that I need, so when I dump it out of the tray, grab it, dump it back in the tray, put the drawer back in, and move on. So we're still working. It's, it's uh, one of those that takes a while because there's so many lots in here, and you really hope it doesn't time out. It's going. It's still going. We'll, uh, we'll just keep the, the clip rolling here. Oh, there it goes. So we're here, and we go all the way down. We're adding 390 lots. I need to check my store real quick. I need to know what lot, what the lot count is. 11,085. So 1,600 items. A lot less money, dollar amount, for some reason than than I anticipated, but. Uh, there were a few things missing, not much. I know there was a big long axle that was five bucks. I know I put that for sale a while ago. The minifigs obviously are not for sale either, so um, it's oddly low, but still, for two and a half hours of work, um, I think that's pretty good. So it's not the best. Obviously, we always talk about the new sets are the most efficient way to add parts. In value to your store 11,085 still it's the bottom say so here we go it almost added 300 new lots we almost hit 300,000 again so awesome job here now I gotta put everything away and clear the table I'm going on vacation oh I forgot I gotta add these first what do we have here so this was brought to me um, from my son's friend that's been helping us here and there. He said he got this at a, um, a rummage sale, garage sale, whatever you want to call them in your area a long time ago. Got like for like 10 bucks and then there's some other stuff in here that he put in there that he's had. So just a bunch of Bionicle and there are a load of masks. Look at that one. That one's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, they're just scattered throughout. There's some connects. There's other, he told me there's other random stuff. So um, he wanted 10 bucks for it. So I gave him 50. Because I see value in here. I don't know. I want to learn about it. It's, I've, I've done one big upload of, of stuff and I have a ton more. Actually, I probably have um, less than this of my own stuff. So I'm going to add that to that sometime this month in August. And we're going to go upload a ton, a ton of Bionicle stuff. So now I have room behind my wall um, that I just added some... Uh, screw lockers, some acro mills back there with the large drawers, so I was waiting to get more space. I can use shoe boxes, you know, I don't like to use them, but I will with some of this stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's a car. Did I show that we did this? 
I had them yesterday um, label all of these on this side and on that side. So we have a you know, chair there, chair there, you know, sorting spot here, sorting spot there, and you can see. Um, and I think I'm going to do a video on this specifically on my thought process behind sorting minifigs and what kind of station this is. I've been saying I want to do one for my used parts here, but I've gone through it a little bit. It just doesn't, I just don't have a, there's so much sorted that I should start getting some of this for sale, honestly. Um, just the tiles especially. I had to get a bigger bin and throw it up here because they were overflowing this. <laughs> so, um, just doesn't excite me as much, I guess. I mean, I'd, once I start uploading some of this, it probably will because I'll see the value in some of this larger plates, larger bricks, and probably get excited about it and then watch the sales come in. But for now, I've invested a lot in minifigures and over the years, and I have them in bags all over this basement, and I want to get them cleared up. So that's a goal.